Hello and welcome to Scopy Squad Gaming or SG if you prefer. I'm James, this is a quick review on Tom Clancy's The Division. As you would expect with a Tom Clancy game, the story is very detailed and well written. You and your unnamed character must brave the streets of Manhattan after the release of a man-made virus known as the Dollar Flu leaves portions of the city uninhabitable. In retaliation to this outbreak, the government activates mass amounts of Division sleeper agents to protect civilians from various thugs roaming the streets. With this being the overlying story, the game also features a number of side stories and characters you meet throughout the game. The Division is a third person cover based shooter, which simply means you need to move from cover to cover and only poke your head out if you have a clear shot. Your character is equipped with three different weapons that can vary dependent on the loot you find, and three abilities that can be unlocked and improved as you upgrade the main base of operations. The game also strongly rewards tactical play and teamwork with AIs that are capable of thinking clearly and performing fairly intelligent manoeuvres such as flanking or holding a line. The game gives you almost unlimited freedom in your choice of characters. To begin with, you can change the basic appearance of the character, and then as you move through the game you can find gear and weapons that could be used and modified to make your character even more unique. As well as the equipment available, you have the option of a number of abilities from the three paths, medical, tech and security. These abilities can be mixed and matched and a good team will want elements from all of the sections to give them the best chance of survival. You have the option to go multiplayer at almost any point in the game, and realistically it's the best way to go with most major missions. But a place where a multiplayer team is essential is the Dark Zone, where you are pitted with other players who could turn on you at any time in a desperate attempt to get loot and XP. Basically, in the Dark Zone, you move with your team and hunt AIs to retrieve loot which you must safely take to an evac point in order for it to count. Avoiding the AIs is relatively simple, the real danger comes in the form of other players, should they decide an entire squad can go rogue, meaning they have a bounty placed on them, but will start attacking other players and can take their loot. This makes the online Dark Zone experiences almost completely different every time you play it. As much as I doubt there will be a direct sequel to The Division, I definitely expect to see more games based on Tom Clancy's stories. I would very much like to see another in the same MMO style that The Division is based around. Overall, The Division is a well-written story thrown into a cleverly made open world, and is an excellent play that will last for hours if you're working with a team of friends. The catch comes if you do not have a team working with you on the division. The campaign requires much more effort if you're running solo and Dark Zone is nearly impossible. And playing with a matchmade team can often be a wildcard scenario, making the game much less fun, leading to me giving Tom Clancy's The Division a 7 out of 10.